welcome to Metro TV, the leader in sports, home of soccer. And you're watching us live from Tripoli, Libya. There is that crucial game involving the Black Stallions of Ghana and the 17 we call it here in Ghana and their Libyan counterparts. Remember, two weeks ago, and uh, the first game was played here at the Ohinijan Sports Stadium. And the Ghanaians were able to run over the Libyans and uh, actually defeated them by three goals to nil. Today. My name is Mohamed Amit Lamte, and the very well, thank you very much for being part of this uh, wonderful day. It is quite a bit exclusive on Metro TV, the leader in sports and home of soccer. There you have the Ghanaians in your short in a crowd. Uh, we had a uh, goalkeeper in Kansa James in pose. We have Frimpon, Isaac Eshon, Mori Ibrahim, Abiyaku Samuel, must watching this live from Tripoli, exclusive on Metro TV, the leader in sports and home of soccer. So the referee is uh, setting up, making sure the right things are done. There he goes. What I was saw for the commencement of the game. It is the preliminary round of the eighth African and uh, 17 championship, Ghana versus Libya. And uh, so let's see how the Ghanaians will react. Having the Black Stars of Ghana tested defeat in the hands of the senior colleagues of the Libyans. The black stylers will be spotted in the all red outfit, playing from left to right and to left on your screens. Very soon, I'll be joined by my colleague Niama Ashon Katai, who's going to help me with summary of this game. And the Ghanaians already started trying to probe for the opener. Remember, they had three goals here in Ghana, and let's hope they will sustain and maintain their composure. We come here away with the live telecast of uh, the Anna 17 national team game and uh, the Libyan counterparts. This was uh, uh, the, the stadium where the Black Stars of Ghana suffered a defeat. So today is a day of retaliation. Danger man for the stylists. He looks very, very huge, tall, and he's having everything to his advantage anytime he's on those offensive. A beautiful diamond there from Ibrahim Moro playing <laughs> on the left. Score any goal. They, they should prevent the stylists from humiliating them at their own background. That is why they are playing it coolly. If they try to open their game, I'm sure we're going to baptize them heavily. Okay. He used the word baptize. Get there. But it will get to a time that you will not get the full complement of your team. And then we need to play, play the match. We should be guided by what happened to our, our athletes proud to the, the, the Beijing games. Okay. Ghana is blessed. Regardless of whatever happened, still move mountains wherever we find ourselves. Mali will take on Niger. It was the first game was played in uh, Bamako. Libyans, it looks like now the Libyans are on the Ghanaians. They are now trying to dictate the pace, Nick. You know, after, after calming down, I'm sure their coach has been able to, to read the game. And that is why they are now dictating the pace. For me, Yes, it should be a balanced game. We are able, just look at the way the midfielders are controlling the game. Then they, they move it forward for the strikers. And, you know, Inso is always able to come back to help the, the, the midfielders. So, played at home, they lost to Rwanda by a goal to two. So, it's a corner kick to Libya. And uh, he lifted one, not a good one, but it looks very deceptive. Got tax in midfield. The first half, the Ghanaians seem to have uh, seized the more foot play. Wonderful diamond here. The Ghanaians would have to string their passes together. Imoro Ibrahim, very, very instrumental in the first half. Come out with something constructive. Kochihini would love to see them coming out with the goals. And as I told you, the Ghana will either meet Sierra Leone or Gambia. He was given a needed check. The brakes were put on him, and he could not really gel when many Ghanaians were just about to celebrate. He's in the hand, calling for a penalty. Referee will have none of that. The man, when you are in that turn of the pitch, there they go. Wonderful diamond. This is Moro Ibrahim. Now, love it that history. Look at the kill in here. The ball, and the ball is there. What a goal! 
Me and my son Katai. I mean, it, 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 it's, it's a spectacular goal by our standard. And, and look it, at the man, and the coach, and Franny with white handkerchief. And look at the celebration. Wow. And the <laughs> uh, uh. One especially, you know that. The, the Ghanaian flag, the Ghanaians were there in their numbers. It is, they seem to have numbered the Libyans in the stand. You know, especially what happened last week. You have to be guided by th that's what happened Let's last week. Let's take a look at it again because I love that goal. And uh, Alasa Mohammed with the header there. And he was really probing in the first half. He could not succeed in getting a goal. People are waiting for you to just cross the ball so they use their head and their legs. And I think that it was a spectacular goal. It's, it's a fine goal by all standards. Okay. Let's, let's see what happens. I, like I've always said, definitely we're going to win this match. By this goal, the Libyans will be forced to come all out and they are going to open their back for us to score more goals. Very well. I hope by now the, the Black Stars players will be very, very excited. Even though they lost out and uh, their younger brothers are just doing that for them, the FA president, His Excellency, Kosinyante Chi, I know he will be very, very happy at this stage watching this game to make sure that uh, this will serve as a motivation for him and uh, his backroom staff to reorganize the team and make sure against Lesotho, the Ghanaians will be doing the calculation that that game will end in a draw. But to all intents and purposes, that is game of football. Sometimes uh, you least express something, it will really happen. So the silence are leading by a goal to nil. For those of you who are oblivious of the news, we've just approaching 15 minute mark of the game. Niam, I don't know whether the stylists can really increase the tally at this stage. Can they? No, I mean, uh, everything in this game shows. They, they've stepped up their game after scoring their first goal. But I mean, Lamte, whilst you were going through the other matches, something crossed my mind. I don't know what you have, what you, you will be happening to you if probably you were a South African at this level. They look to be very, very comfortable. Would you advise them to increase the tally? Yes, at this level, it is, it is very much important. Yes, this. It looks like uh, what you said, uh, has been well understood by the players. They are now firing outside the 18. Ibrahim Moro. It looks like each and every player is fighting hard. The Libyans would now move up. And that pass, he was very, very tough here. Together with uh, Mohamed Doza, who just came on a while ago. The Ghanaians. We'll be very, very excited with the scoreline. This is the captain for the side, Frippon. The woodwork saved us would have been a perfect equalizer. But I, I think uh, in Kansa did a wonderful job. I saw him going, he's actually stretching. He saw in the Black Stars players uh, was really, really disturbing. So we must try to work it out down the youth team so that we can build them up. So that we have uh, options in case players are beginning to see themselves as, as deeper for the starters. She reminds me of the likes of uh, Olele, mm -hmm. Samir J and Co. And the referee says that that should be an indirect free kick. I just don't understand it. As a former goalkeeper, I don't know whether the goalkeeper did something. Look at the position of the ball. And he takes it. Who's coming to the ball? Is there the Libyans would bounce back? Done better. I mean, like I, I keep on talking about experience. I mean, these are young chaps. Some of these things, yes, you should just expect them. But I think that some of these mistakes too should not happen. He, he probably that is what should happen because now the Libyans, like I did say, would want at least if, if don't win this game, at least they would want to draw. And so now they are, they, they, you know, they are drawing back. And yeah. every says the penalty for Ghana. What a day for the Libyans. <laughs> what a brilliant day for the Ghanaian team. And just look at it. That was the man, Moro Ibrahim, trying to meander his way through. He was given a needed check. He was impeded. A referee says this is a legal tackle. He was a really, really legal tackle, but he says that uh, the Libyans must be punished. Just look at that. Ha! And Moro will be alive. He's going to hear his prayers. And uh, so from Pawn, behind the boy, he takes a look at that. What a goal! Incredible kick, Rajab.
going to one side and just look at the celebration. <laughs> this is what I love to see. And the moment, <laughs> this is a no, no, no. behind the I mean, net. I'm sure he, he thought that the ball was going to enter the net. I'm sure. Because there was the ball wasn't... For, for me, I think that, yes, he, he, that is his mark. He's a coach. And that is what is expected from a coach. And so if he's been able to put this team together and then from the way... And a chance team. coming for the Ghanaians and the Libyans who clear their lines. So, viewers... Thank you so much for being part of this wonderful day. It's a day of compensation for Ghanaian football followers. And uh, live on Metro TV, the leading sports home of soccer. And it's also the home of uh, the Black Stars of Ghana. I mean, I think so. And this is the man I'm waiting for four minutes of at a time. But I need you to think the Libyans can do something positive I mean, no, out of this format. It, it, it is a done deal. If, if, if care is not taken, I'm sure... I so will say close to these uh, players who are representing Ghana far away in Tripoli. Goalkeeper James Kansa, Frimpon is the captain. And Isaac Ishan, Mori Ibrahim, Samuel Abeku, Basit Masawudu, Alhassan Mohammed, Fatawa Mohammed. Mahatma Otu, Frank Champon, and Felix J on the sub bench. They are bought a fiddle for the side for Pond. The corner kick for Ghana. And uh, we've done two minutes of the added time. We have two minutes more to go. And the Ghanaians will be very, very excited. Coach Hini and Coach Frippon Manso will say kudos for this wonderful moment. They've gone through hard, but God being so good, they were compensated. And I know the FA officials were very, very excited. The communication director, Randy Abe, the vice president, Fred Papo, the general secretary, Kofinsia, and the president himself, Kofinsia would have a lot to cherish about. There you have the man. He's a hero, if you ask me, Coach Hini, uh, because it was a very, very difficult tax. Uh, Oh, he's not a coach, he's not a referee. Uh, probably he's conversant with the rules. But I disagree with him. It was uh, in the English Premiership. You see even a slight push in the 18. There goes the whistle for the end of this interesting game. We say close to the Black Stylers of Ghana. They've won it. We say thank you to Metro TV for this live telecast.